the Minecraft Bee. When it was introduced in 1.15, it changed the entire game, adding new redstone mechanics and also a new way to farm. Plus, they're little cutie patooties. And today, I want to honor the legacy they've created and breed 1,000 of them in under a week on my survival world. But first, I need to actually make a survival world. My last one is not in good shape. I don't see a single place where I could fit bees in this world. Uh, looking around, I don't see any bees. Obviously, starting off Minecraft like normal, breaking a tree and getting dripped out in some new gear. Yada yada, crafty crafty. Should I skip to the part where I find the bees? Should I skip it? First, you gotta find a bee ready for bee reading and then watch the magic happen. Little bee! Okay, so now rinse and repeat this a thousand times. In the meantime, though, let's quickly break this bee nest and... Wait, I need silk touch, don't I? So I honestly pretty much just have to play this game until I get silk touch. Oh, village. It's a place where you got stuff. Yeah, it's a place. Whee! And I'm gonna take your stuff, Mr. Blacksmith. I'm gonna take your diamonds and then leave. And let me tell you, I can't wait to get my first bee. It's one of my favorite mobs in Minecraft. Then with the help of my trusty steed, I made my way to the nether. All right, Bastion. Okay, well, that's good. All right, now if I just check this out. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 please don't let me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I need to get out of here. Ah! Okay, thank God. Wait, is that a silk touch shovel? I think I might be able to use this. And with that, I cut my time in the nether short. Let's get to work. And now with this shovel, I should be able to break these hives. Let's see if it works. Woo, yeah. And with that, our next goal is to make a flower farm. But first, we need something to actually plant the flowers. Bone meal. It, it's bone meal. And the only way to get bone meal is probably by composting. My plan today is to actually make a kelp farm. Let's just go down into the depths and get ourselves some redstone real quick. Yes. Ow. 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 Nope. Wait, what's going on? How do I get out of this? What is going on? I hate gravel. You know what you shouldn't hate? Uh, the, the sub, the sub. Making it out with my life, I got back home where I found the villagers taking over my base. Get out of my house. Get out of my house! You're looking at me through the window. Yeah, yeah, you walk away. You're not allowed back in here. All right, let's start construction on the kelp farm. Can you please get off my farm? I'm, I'm begging you, please get off my farm. These villagers are literally griefing my build right now. This is so annoying. To keep myself from going insane, I went to the nether to get some quartz for my observers. Quartz obtained. Everyone stop the presses. I just found the little kitty cat and I need to get it right now. Wait, isn't this a different cat? With my newfound companions, I started work on my kelp farm knowing as a fact that it was gonna work. I'm gonna walk away from the computer. If it works, it works. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let's see how we did. Well, that's not good. And after 30 minutes of farming, it literally did nothing. I'm gonna have to figure out something and fast. I started collecting magma because apparently on Reddit it said that the magma will prevent the items from going up and it'll go back into the hoppers, which sounds like a good idea in theory. But you know what else works in theory? Economics. I'm back. Okay, there's something wrong with this farm. Alrighty. So I blew the farm to shreds, but I have an idea. Instead of using kelp, why don't we just use the dry variant of kelp? And no, not bamboo. I've done that already. Luckily, a sugarcane farm already has the exact same blocks as a kelp farm, except without the water. So all I need to do is repackage this. Let's start building. I'm using a super modern design with mud. It's super special because check this out. No hopper minecarts needed. If I had known this back when I was making my bamboo farm, oh my god. Let's get some sugar cane. I'm like a machine gun. And the finishing touches are waterlogging some leaves, placing the pistons, placing the note blocks, and we should have a functioning sugar cane farm. Just need to put up some glass to make sure items don't fall off, make it a bit longer in the back, and now we lie in wait to see if it actually works. In the meantime, I want to work on some villager trading, so let's make a pumpkin farm. I think we all know this is the most essential thing for villager trading because Holy emeralds. My three things on the docket right now are a villager breeder, an iron farm, and also getting full diamond tools. But what I didn't anticipate is how rusty I was, because this took me hours. For some reason, all the villagers in my village were gone. Totally not because I murdered them. So I had to take villagers from a village that was 300 blocks away from me and bring them back. Unfortunately, I made this massive ugly line of water to get them down here, so that's going to be stuck there forever. But now it's time to build the iron farm. I found a super cheap design for the iron farm, so this wasn't even too much of a hassle. All that's left to do now is trap some villagers in there and add a zombie. So to wait for the zombie, I just here. Yeah, I just stood here until the sun went down. I'm not even joking. And now that it's nighttime, let me just trap a zombie. No, you're not escaping. And move some more villagers from the other village while I'm waiting for the iron farm to work. Hopefully, construction on my flower farm will start very soon. In the meantime, check it out. The iron golem farm is working perfectly. All we need to do now is make a villager breeder so I have some guys to trade with. I still don't know why I made it like this. Instead of dealing with that crap, let's just make a railway to make it go quicker. In some places, it'll look awkward, but it's gonna work. Without further ado, let's test the bursty expo line. 
So far, so good. And our maiden voyage is complete. This is gonna be so much quicker than the other method of getting the villagers over. I think now's a great time to mention while I'm moving the villagers that once I hit 50,000 subs, I'm gonna run a 24-hour server that anyone can join and build on. So if you want to immortalize something awesome in history, make sure to hit the sub button. In other news, let's work on the villager breeder. It's been this long and I still haven't even bred a single bee, which makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. But this quote from Albert Einstein, in the middle of ever difficulty lies opportunity. It just, it just stuck in my head. The villager breeder shouldn't take too long. Hey, what did I tell you? All right, guys, chop, chop, let's make some babies. While we give these guys some privacy, let's start working on other stuff. First, let's check out the iron farm. Holy crap, this is incredible. With all this iron, we're now able to start working on our farm. But first, I need to use that iron for something else. I went live on YouTube and spent a little bit of time grinding with the villagers. It's my best farm right now for just getting emeralds. Little did I know, I actually had something the whole time that would have made this process 100 times faster. You see that iron golem farm? Now tell me what are the two things that iron golems drop? Iron and... Yeah, flowers! So for the whole few hours that I've been doing this, I didn't realize this whole time that I had a flower farm. Talk about stupid. But now armed with full diamond tools, it's finally time to start breeding the bees. But first, I need a place to put them. But in order to make an attractive house for the bees, I first need to get some spruce. Instead of leveling an entire forest, I'm just gonna get some saplings and build my own massive trees. Me choosing spruce was more practical than it was aesthetic, but I think it'll still look great. All right, now we need a place to put this bee house or whatever we're gonna call it. Let's flatten out this area in front of the village and just have it overlooking the entire thing. One thing to keep in note is that bees take up vertical and horizontal space, so this won't need to be too wide. Okay, only two more layers to go. For my last two layers, I need to get a little bit more spruce. Hopefully this should be enough. At this point, the only thing separating me from beginning the arduous process of breeding 1,000 bees is making this building. So I wanted to make it look the part. Unfortunately, that means it's a tad more expensive than a boring wood cube. Once all 1,000 bees are bred, I have an idea. Something I've always wanted to do in survival since the bee was added to Minecraft, and that's having them kill a wither. Um, uh, and, uh, go. All right, and... With that, the building is completed. Now to find two bees worthy enough to begin my army. For that, I set out on my horse with two leads in search of the closest bees. Here's bee one, and oh, there's bee two already. Done and done. These two are gonna be my Adam and Beef. You, you know what? Let's just, let's just breed them. All right, here we go. You guys just started a revolution. Wait. Hasn't someone said that before? I should probably break these so they don't see spawn. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Ugh. Okay, I hope they aren't aggroed now. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna place more flowers on the ground so the bees don't wanna leave. Despite my iron farm generating poppies for me, I still need to make a better farm at some point. It's slow and I don't wanna waste hours a day sitting at the iron farm to get more. At this point, it feels like I'm playing cookie clicker with bees. Just walk in, right click a bunch of times, walk out and wait a while, then come back in and do it all over again. But now that I was able to get a full set of tools and armor from the villagers, I realized I was gonna run out of flowers sooner rather than later. So so I started working on yet another farm. Oh yeah, and the reason I'm sitting in the swamp is because I'm waiting for slimes to spawn. Those slimes are gonna allow me to make a flying machine. I know I already did this before, but come on, man, it works. Yes, I see some. All right, stacks of slime balls, here we come. Even the babies won't be safe from my blade. Okay, can we edit that out of the video, please? All right, since then, I really haven't seen many slimes. So I'll have to run around and place some more torches so they're the only thing that's able to spawn. And would you look at that? Another one just spawned right here. Perfect. And with that, I really should have enough for my farm now. So let's get home before we run out of time. All right, you may be wondering why dramatic music is playing. Well, this is my last chance to make a good bone meal farm. At this point, I'm gonna lose my mind and just start AFKing if this doesn't work out. Or even worse, I'll have to shear all these trees for their leaves and just compost it that way, which I know is one of the most tedious things you can do in the game. Really quickly though, let me show you the progress on the bees. I have a lot of them. If you want precise numbers, you just saw 300 bees. The problem is my flowers have run out. So let's make that flying machine work sooner rather than later. Wait, I did that in the first try? With that massive sugar farm working double time? I think I have a good chance of getting this done within the week. Even if I go a little bit over, it's just a self-imposed challenge. In order to increase the efficiency of my farm, I created something called an etho clock. Turns out the sugar cane needs a little bit extra time to grow before it gets mowed down. This should greatly increase the amount of sugar cane we're getting. In the meantime, let's breed the bees again. Oh my gosh, I can't even see anything. Looking at my F3 right now, I have almost 500 bees. This is insane. It's even preventing all my sounds from loading in. Listen really closely. 
Nope, there's no recording error. That's actually what I'm hearing right now. It's crazy. Because I'm impatient, I decided to go back to the nether to get some more bone blocks. Unfortunately, they're across the ocean. As someone who's not adept at speed bridging, this is gonna take a little while. All right, one nether fossil obtained. A lot more bridging. By a lot, I mean a lot. I've been doing this for like the past two minutes. Dude, are you kidding me? I ran out of blocks. Well, time to bridge with pumpkins. Nether fossil number two. And that becomes six and a half stacks of bone meal. Holy. And now to turn on the auto clicker and... Wow. If my math is correct, we only need to do this a few more times and we'll have a thousand bees in no time. Look at this. We have 650 bees right now. Speaking of which, want to see a magic trick? Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, I was going to cut to 1,000 bees, but I feel like I should show you how I got here. First, I found another fortress. Then I found out it was in the Soul Valley biome. Then I was able to find two stacks of bone blocks out of nowhere. Then I got lost. But then I got unlost. Then I went back home and spam right click until I got a thousand bees. Yes, I did waste all that time working on like four different farms only for none of them to be useful. But it was late at night and I finally hit my goal. All right, guys, I have an entire inventory full of flowers. This is insane. Dude, I just need to finish up these last few bees and I think I'll have hit a thousand. I'm at like 900 something right now. Oh my God. I did it. We just hit one thousand bees i think after that i deserve to sleep i am really really tired but i did it we actually did it let's go you thought it was over didn't you well i still have one last thing to do kill the most formidable mob in minecraft with only bees so for that i set out to the nether to get the three heads that i'd need to end this once and for all ah, oh crap wait i have a fire resistance potion Lesson learned, don't wear a smartwatch while gaming. All right, we're at the nether fortress. Now just to kill some skeletons. I got one. Wait, no way. All right, I gotta get home now. I wanna make this wither by tonight. All right, here are the three wither skulls. And I'm sure you're wondering, will it be able to kill the wither? Let's find out. So the plan is, is we're gonna go under here. We're gonna use this trap door to get under and we're gonna spawn the wither under the bees. Is it gonna work? There's only one way to find out. Ready? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, please. Oh my god. No, 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 wait, 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 what just happened? Did I do something wrong? No, 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 this isn't right, this isn't right! What, wait, what the hell? Where am I? What, oh, what, uh, wait. Uh, load from back up? Okay, screw it! All right, I have a crazy idea, and it just might work. This is my second and final attempt. If it doesn't work now, then it never will. I'm gonna put the wither right here. This will prevent its initial explosion from killing all my bees. And before we spawn it, let's give these bees strength too. This better work. Okay, here we go. Okay, 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 run, 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 run. Yes, they're alive. It's working. It's working! Why is the health bar not going? The health bar is going down! Look at his health! Slowly but surely. Oh my gosh! There they are! Splash! Yes! Get him! Oh, get him! Yes! I can barely even see what's going on! Look at his health go down! Yes! I can't even- I can barely see it! Get him! Come on, bees! Yes! Yes! They did it! And they're all alive! Mostly! You guys are free! You guys are free! You did good!